Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to monitor websites with Azure Monitor application in sites. Let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. So if you remember, we guys used the uh, Azure Log Analytics workspace and the Azure Monitor to view the performance of the Azure VM. In here we see how to monitor the Azure website. So let me create one basic file here on my local computer and I would name it hello underscore world dot HTML. I'm creating an HTML file on my desktop. It would be hello underscore world dot HTML. Right. And let me just copy the demo content here and paste it. All right, I created one file and the application insights can gather telemetry data from any internet connected applications. It can be running on premises or in the cloud. So let me create one application insight resource. I'm going to click on create a resource. I'm going to type in application insights. Here it is. Select it. Click on create. Let me exit out of the cloud shell. I'm going to select my resource group. The one in which I am creating all the resource. My app. Instead, you can give it any name. I am going to go with the East US. Review create. I'm going to leave everything as default. Create. It is creating the application inside role. I'm sorry, the application inside resource. It is done. I'm going to click on go to resource. Okay. Now, uh, under the overview, you see these things that the name, the connection string, and every other thing. You see this value instrumentation key. Copy it. Now I'm going to open my hello world.html. And would add the instrumentation key and save the file. Okay. I'm going to go to my folder. Okay. This is my hello world instrumentation key. And I'm going to replace it with the one that I copied. There you go. I'm going to save it. All right. And now I'm going to open the hello world.html file in my local browser. Okay, okay. It says Azure Monitor Application Insights. Hello world. You can use application insight. This is the dummy section. I'm going to open it multiple times so that I can generate some data to use for. Okay, I'm going to refresh it. Now let's quickly monitor it in the Azure portal. We can now go back to the uh, Azure portal again. This is it. This is the application insight. I'm in the overview section. Let me just refresh it. So there are four, de four default charts under the overview section. You see here failed request, the server response time, server request, and the availability which are uh, scoped to the server side application data. So since we are instrumenting the cloud client browser side interaction with the JavaScript SDK, this particular view does not apply unless we also have a server side SDK installed. So if I open log analytics, this one, so this will open up the log analytics workspace. 
which provides a rich query language for analyzing all data collected by the application insights. To view data related to the client site browser request, we will run a one dummy command. So if you would see uh, the operations performance and you run it, it would not because I don't have the server side SDK installed. Let me just copy the dummy command and run it. Copy the dummy command. If you would take it down and you see this, if I run it, I hope to get some data. It says completed. This is the page view overall. The times that I have viewed the page, where timestamp bit ago, 15 minutes, and the client type is browser, page view duration. So this is just a normal application insights command to check the page view. Now, if I go back to the uh, overview section of my inside logs, the application insights, and if you would, now if you would click on performance here under the investigate section, Hang on. Now in the performance, we'll find metrics related to the performance of the website. There is also a corresponding view for uh, analyzing failures and exceptions in the website. We can click samples to drill into the individual transaction details. And from this section, you can access the end-to-end -end transaction details. You can change the local time uh, button from the last 24 hours to last 30 minutes. Right, so we can do this and I can do apply. And it will show me this data. So as of now, not much data is available. Now, if you want to begin exploring the user behavior uh, from the analytics tool, from the main application sites, when you select users under the usage header. So you under the usage, click on users. It will come, it will take some time to load. So we are only testing it from a single machine, my personal laptop. We will only see data from one user. For a live a website, the distribution of users might be really different. So see, these are the users and it will, it is only showing for one particular user. It right at for the line chart, you can, you know, area chart depends upon. So if you have a website which is publicly globally available you would see different type of data now if you had a very complex website with multiple pages another useful tool would be user flows it is here session started where did it go where did the session end it and so on and so forth So in this lab, we did how to monitor resources with the Azure monitor. In this particular video, we saw how to monitor Azure websites with the application insight. So I hope you liked it. It was beneficial for you. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.